So far we've looked at options where we run our script and we have some sort of file select option uh, through the script. But what we want to look now is drag and drop to our shell script. So we have two options here on how to open up your whatever file manager you use, select a couple of files, and drag them over and then have your shell script process them. We're going to look at two different ways of doing that and so let's have a look. As mentioned in the previous two videos, all the scripts we're looking at today are up on my GitLab page, gitlab.com forward slash metalx1000, and the project is called bash multi-file select. Okay, we're going to drag and drop. So if I wanted to, I could pass arguments, or in this case file names, to my script. So I'm going to start off with my drag and drop 2, right? I'm going to do drag and drop 2. And then I could give it a file name. I can say temp my bw photos. Again, I purposely put spaces in the file names because that's what's going to mess you up. And I can give it the file name and type it all out. But we don't want to type out every single file name, right? But if you have a file manager open, and you select some files, like those three, I can drag and drop them here, and they drop them in, which is great. Now, I can hit enter, and it starts processing through them, and now we have those three images in black and white, or desaturated grayscale. Let's look at uh, that drag and drop to file. It's shorter than our other ones, right? Because we're just passing in arguments, which is fairly simple. I have my output directory. We don't need the input directory because we're drag and dropping it from file manager. Although, as I mentioned in a previous video, we could have our script open up your default file manager to that directory, and that would be useful and save the user a couple of steps. I didn't do that, but you'll see my notes here. This script will allow you to drag and drop files, even with spaces, but single quotes, apostrophes, in the file names will not work. Okay, uh, because actually, would it would it mess up on this one? That notes for the other drag and drop one. Let's give that a try. Oh, now I'm going off script here. Let me go ahead and just rename this one. I'm going to put an apostrophe in it, which you should never do with a file name. And now, well, let's do it to two so we can process through at least two. F two. Rename, just add an apostrophe somewhere, single quote, whatever you want to call it. And I will say files, drag and drop to. I will hit enter. Oh, sorry. I will hit space. I will select those two, drag and drop. Let's see what happens. Ah, so this one does work even with apostrophes in the name or single quotes, whatever you want to call them. That's fine. So that's that's one of the benefits of this one. The thing is, you got to know before you start the the program to drag and drop those files. So drag and drop them, hit enter, and it will process through them. Again, let's quickly look at this script. And again, all I'm doing here is if I tried to originally, I tried to do something and it didn't work properly. Um, I tried to loop through them, uh, you know, item by item, but the apostrophes were screwing things up. But I realized if I start with the first option, I process it, and then you can say shift, and it will shift to the next one. Uh, that fixed my problem with the single quotes. So this is super simple. I'm just saying while, uh, basically, there is an option here, process it, okay? Go through it, and then shift, and one will be, will then... Two will become one, then three will become one, and you know, we'll move them all down. So I did a horrible job explaining that. But the code is pretty simple right there. But maybe you don't want to pass the files before the program starts, or you want to give the user prompt to drag and drop the files, um, or some other option. We're going to files, drag and drop. So the, I showed you drag and drop two first. Let's go ahead and run this one. This one actually says, please drag and drop files. Now, if I select a few of these here, let's go ahead and erase our output so we know. And I will grab a few of these, drag and drop them, and then hit enter, and it will convert them no problem. Great. But let's go ahead and drag and drop these ones with the apostrophes. I'm assuming they're going to fail. I actually did not test this out, but I'm 99% sure this is going to fail because I know how I wrote the script. So we have to start our script, move to our file manager, 
drag it over here, click back in the shell and hit enter, and you can see we got problems. And it's because of those apostrophes in the name. So, why is that? Well, we ha again, we have our output, we create our output directory, then I'm just using the read command. Now, I tried different ways of doing this. I tried doing read and you can dump it into an array and I still had the same problems. I'm just gonna dump all the text into files, right? And then what do I need to do? Now, look at when the files are dragged. So let me open up uh, a new shell down here. Actually, no, let's, let's exit out of this. I'm not even gonna have a command in there. I'm just gonna drag and drop these files here. You can see this is the file and it's got a quotation around it and then there's a space and then the quotation, the next file name, quotation, space, next quotation. So each one is separated by a space but has those single quotes around it, right? Well I need to get rid of those single quotes, uh, the script didn't like those, but I needed to get rid of them in a smart way that knew which quotes uh, we're at the beginning of the file and end of the file. So what I did end up doing here is I ended up echoing the entire list. And what I did was I said, okay, take all the, the quote, single quotes with a space between them. So quote, space, quote, and make it convert it to a new line. The problem is the very first file will have a quote before it, a single quote, and the last file will have a single quote before it. So then I deleted that. So that, there's my issue right there. If your file name has a quote in it, I'm deleting them all right there. And that's the biggest drawback to doing this this way. And if you know a better way, please let me know. But then I can loop through them and do the same thing as before. But that is the biggest drawback to the script parting of this is if there is a apostrophe in your file name, which some people do, it's gonna mess things up. But uh, this is the simplest way I came up with drag and dropping into a file. And again, I'm just using the read command, which reads it all as text, but then splits it out by those spaces and quotes. So none of my options are absolutely great, but they are all workable. Um, again, FZF, definitely the best option for most files. Uh, and again, the only scenario I could think of where FZF is not the best option is when I'm working with photos because I want to see which ones I'm selecting or maybe videos because I want to look at the thumbnails of which one I'm selecting. But anything else, FCF just wins hands down. But I thought I would come up with a few scenarios here and show you how I came up with my solutions. Let me know if you know another way to do it. Also visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.